Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with No Lane. Today we're going to be doing a little patch notes a bit early because there is quite a bit of news and it'll be kind of stupid to do it like last second, especially if you guys have not done Tower. Um, I have skimmed through the patch notes, but it was on like stream because uh, people were telling me the patch notes were out. So I just, I didn't really like read too much of it or read anything to be honest. The only thing that caught my eye was Tower. But we'll get into that as soon as we pass it. So yeah, Infinity's finally coming on February the 19th. Okay, first things first, we're gonna get a new area. Level cap has been increased from 138 to 141. All the overlords and transcended characters have been reborn. So now they're gonna be as useful as the exalted allies. Skill restrictions between grades have been removed. Hmm? Wait, what does that mean? I don't know. I, I guess we'll figure that out when it actually comes. Ally adjustments. So, on balance patch 2.0 be applied along with a lot of allies adjustments so I'm guessing all of these allies have been or will be adjusted all right so for the patch also will improve the stats of summons from bell margaret and aaron as well as the heroes that are summoned by bell and margaret okay so basically bell and margaret were characters that summoned other characters like uh, Hellhawk, uh, King Graham, stuff like that. So anything that was within their faction. So Margaret summoned Bodens, Bell summoned Awakened Heroes. So yeah, pretty much how they worked was when Margaret was ultimate, she would summon ultimate like Bodens when they were have their like ultimate passives and everything so once she's infinity she's also gonna summon like storm bear infinity so yeah these two are gonna be pretty strong again aaron i'm not sure what they're gonna do with her summons but i'm pretty sure they're just gonna buff the hell out of their attack and and hp and that's probably it <laughs> all right infinity summons you are now allowed to use rubies to summon souls Along with Max to Arc, Transcended Allies and Overlord Allies and Infinity Cards. Price for the Infinity Summons will be reduced by using Ruby Discount Cards. Okay, well, tickets. Okay, so this event's probably going to come back if that's what you're talking about right now. But these Ruby Discount Tickets would normally just decrease the costs of it by like 500 it would take 500 rubies off using this that's pretty much it i heard that it's 9k so if it is 9k it's going to change to um, 8500 so you're basically just saving a little bit all right so this is going to be our whole new gotcha system which is going to be pretty good in a way just because once we get in all these allies the absorb system is going to play a huge part in this unless you summon souls then you basically just waste it <laughs> but infinity limit break so now you can limit break your transcendence all the way up to exalted basically from what i'm reading here Seems about right. Ah, yeah, I was right. Okay, we're good. Just double checking. Exalted Enhance to Arc now. Nice, 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 nice. And Exalted can now go all the way up to Infinity. Okay, so there are going to be accessories for achieving arcs as well. So, you guys are good. Possession buffs will also be there as well. There will also be a new raid. The Dark Lord, huh? 
A 30 second damage immunity effect will apply to this boss. Oh. So he's not going to take damage for 30 seconds. And that's the creepiest looking fuck. That is the creepiest boss I've ever seen in my life. Jesus Christ. That's pure nightmare fuel. <laughs> Dark Marcher is set. So we're getting more um, gear. Doesn't seem like any U gear are going to come into like, I guess the third raid boss. But now people will be able to farm this and get their gears up. Nice, nice, nice. So here's the thing that caught my eye that I was talking about. Tower is now getting closed and will no longer be available. They're completely taking Tower out of the game. So do Tower now before Tower is removed. It would probably be the smartest idea to do that as we speak. So yeah. That's why I decided to do the video today instead of just wait it off. Ah, huh, seems like Golem is getting nerfed as well. Ah, oh, so Overlord allies can survive. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Various adjustments. Adjusted adjustments to uh, Guild Siege and Guild Loot. Well, Guild Loot is probably going to be strong as fuck again. I wouldn't even doubt it now that the new ones will come out, but yeah. Guild Adventure, Guild Bosses will be adjusted. Battle Modes will be adjusted. Hit and Evasion will be applied correctly. Oh. So you're saying it never was correct in the first place. Okay. Noted. Noted, noted, noted. <laughs> so yeah, here are all the Battle Modes that are going to be adjusted. Um, hopefully they adjust the rewards since they're taking away tower for sure. Alright. Other improvements. Alright. So, other improvements. Added a vertical scroll feature for um, skill. This detail pop-up, huh? Okay. Reviews for all allies will be integrated into a Zoltic grade. Pity card possession stats will be added to allies upon using ally select. Okay, noted. So I don't see anything about um, about the new hero yet. Icon change adjustments for iPod. Added profanity words. Yay! I always wanted my words to be blocked even more than it is in this broken fucking profanity filter. <sighs> also, another thing they should do 100% is um, instead of making chat clear as we rejoin the game, the real reason why chat is dead and why nobody talks is just because when you're offline, and somebody talks inside a chat when you're offline and they're trying to ask you a question. You don't get that message when you hop back online. Which is needs to be changed for sure. It needs to be changed to where it keeps the messages inside of the game. Even when you log on or log off. Just because you could probably crash as somebody's as you're in a conversation, you'll come back and you just don't know what the hell they said after that or if they even said anything. Or apply because that that's chatting system the way they're doing it right now is kind of well not even kind of it's really flawed it needs to be changed it needs to be where chat just stays you can have like a lot more people chatting inside of guild and guild chat being like extremely useful again only if they change that system <laughs> so devs Please, for the love of God, give us a chat log that actually stays and not erases when we like exit the game or are not online. That would be fantastic because this system does not work. Nobody chats in guild chat or raid chat or anything around that area. Well, actually, nobody uses raid chat because raids are quick as hell. But 
Nobody uses Whisper or anything like that just because there's no real point in using it, especially if you're offline or hop offline or anything like that. That needs to be kind of a slice of life kind of update for sure. Improvement of life. Just saying. Alright, so our login rewards will be different. So, let's see. Let's see the changes. On day 3, instead of getting 50, you'll get 200. On day 5, you'll get... Instead of getting 400, you'll get 1,000 rubies. Day 6, instead of getting 50 essence, you're going to get 5 soul selectors. Okay. Day 7, you're going to get a arc transcended um, ally selector on the 10th day instead of getting 50 you're going to get 200 transcended essence okay so it's just going to replay itself and yeah you guys already know those two on day 14 instead of getting 12 allies you're going to get uh five affinity summons nice 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 day 19 uh, wow, 1,500 rubies. Actually, I like the ruby increases that they're doing. That's going to be really nice. The ones we just get in for, like, logging in. Nothing, like, really all that special. Alright. So. 10 selecting souls. Ultimate overlord. Okay. Some gold increase. Oh, no. Actually, instead of getting the ally summon, you're going to get a 30 million gold uh, I, I guess that's fine considering that they're taking away the normal ally the premium ally summons and replacing it with the gotcha actually they're they are literally just replacing it now that I think about it actually I think I was thinking way too far into the whole uh, if the whole gotcha system because basically the gotcha system was already there. It's just getting upgraded. Basically what it is. Anywho. Uh, instead of getting the 100 transcended essence on day 27. You're going to get 15 soul selections. So oh, cool. That, that's fine. Instead of getting the ultimate transcended ally. You're going to get an infinity card. Summon. Okay. Neat, 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 neat. And these are all the returning. I'm not going to read those just because those are for like special guy, For like the special people, you know, who come back and make an account or something like that. But yeah, pretty decent rewards. Nothing like extremely special though. For us to like restart a new account or anything like that. Unless you insane maniacs want to go through all that grinding again. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, so you can increase your daily limit of buying uh, burning caps. Or they have increased it to buying like two of them at a time now. Pretty nice. At least they didn't increase the cap. At least they didn't increase the cost of it. Alright, special login. You can get up to five Arc Overlord Selectors. Okay. There is no alternative reward because they can stack now. All overlords, all 31 of them, can get... Oh, you can get from it. Special summons. Oh, okay, these are for, like, returning players. You can get a normal exalted. None of them will be, like, ultimate or max or anything like that. It's just going to be default. And here is your special login rewards. So the first day you're going to be able to get five burning capsules. The second day you're going to be getting an affinity summons. Third day essence. And shoes on the fourth. Fifth summons. Bro rune summons. The sixth day is going to have soul summons. I'm guessing those are random. They're not going to. If they didn't put selection on it. Uh, seventh day is going to be. Ooh. Five. Five thousand rubies this is actually a pretty nice amount to be honest um 
Dave Day, you're going to get 10 burning capsules. Nine souls. Oh, 100 and... Did I just say nine souls? On the ninth day, you get 10 random souls. On the tenth day, you get some um, transcended weapon fragments up to 150. The eleventh day, you're going to get shoes. Oh my god, 10,000 of them. On the twelfth day, this is going to be helpful for a lot of people. You're going to get character enhancement potions. And on the thirteenth day, you're going to get some um, skill card summons. Well, fragment summons. That's going to be 100. Then on the final day, which is the 14th day, is you're going to get an Arc Overlord Selector. Nice. So what's up with this? Ah! This is the idea I was actually talking about that they could do. So we're going to have ourselves an event. And it is going to be for alternate skins. The summer skins, actually, to be exact. This is going to be nice. Because this is the thing I sent in for, like, their feedback thing. Uh, I don't think... I think they probably already had this plan, to be honest. I don't think they did it just because I sent in something like it. But this is definitely something that's going to be very, very good. I'm going to do this every single day just because you can get alternate cards for like their summer skins. And tear on the on the sea? Well, tear of the sea. I've never seen this one. Or Sasha. I am interested as hell to see what they look like. For sure. But you only get it once per account. Okay, so the rest of you have to use like Joker cards on. Okay, let's see. These have been changed, like, price-wise, I think. Alright, so we have Raid World buffs for events here all the times. So you can go ahead and convert those times if you want to. It'd be tedious as hell. All these packs are ending. So for the Wells, you will no longer be able to get that. All these events are ending as well and that's pretty much it no new events so the whole um goal or gone goal where is it oh this this event this won't be actually going okay noted but yeah that's all the infinity stuff That's going to be fun. I can't wait for it, to be honest. There's going to be so much to change. I'm interested to see how the arena meta is going to change now that the, all the transcendent and overlords are going to be useful again against the, the Exalteds. So the Exalteds aren't really all that special anymore. <laughs> Probably stat-wise, but this is going to be very, very damn interesting. Well, I guess the Exalteds are still pretty special. Because I don't think the Exalted need, like, an Infinity card for them. I think it's these guys that actually need the Infinity cards. Overlords and Transcendents. Maybe I could be wrong. It's going to be interesting to figure out the whole uh, Infinity system. Because I know nothing about it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking into that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. And to them, you guys do tower and peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?